Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. On today's adventure, I have gathered up a few resources. We're going to be building a creeper farm today. So, we're going to head out to the location I have picked out to be the creeper farm. It is over yonder. It's going to be out of the way from a spawn. That way it won't interfere with the uh, eventual uh, iron farm and any other farms in the area. But also, uh, so it's not taking up the mob cap and giving me issues. So we're heading out to where I want to build it. I think it is in this area. It might be a little further. It's a little further. I mean, it might be over here, too. I don't remember exactly where I wanted it to be. But th this seems like a little further. And this bay. I just wanted to be out of the spawn chunks and not just be constantly running, taking up the spawn cap. Yeah, this looks like a good enough place. So, let's set up base camp, I guess. And, uh, get to sorting. I got stuff to drop off. Let's see. There we go. We got most of that out of the way. Secondary chest, glass. I can lay down the crafting table. I've got quite a bit to do. So I'm going to set up a tree farm, gather up some trees, and I will see you all in a few minutes. Actually, I could, uh... I could just pick the spot I wanted it to be at. Let's see. Let's see. Here looks good. I like here. Here works. Alright, I've chosen my spot. And I will... Well... I can keep you here, and I can just start the platform. It's going to be 20 blocks high, so that's where I gotta start out with. So, let's just start. Building. Be all something juicy to see. Now let's make it five by five. Why not? There's no whole a lot of reasons not to build a 5x5. Five because five. I've got to go up at least one more spot for optimal ease of striking the mobs. Striking the creepers so that I can kill them. Actually, I don't even know why I did that. 
There. I just need a half slab. And I'm pretty much good to go. And let's make that half slab. Um, Well, that's more than I thought it was. Because this is where I'll be tickling their toes. Alright, I'm going to make it look like a firework rocket. Because I'm primarily building this to be for fireworks. So that's what I'm going to build it for. Alright, I'm going to gather up some resources and I, like tree farming. And I will see you all in a few minutes. Thank you. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I'm just about finished with stacking up. I have uh, switched out to using a single uh, tree uh, instead of multiple trees. It's uh, less to manage, less headache. I built a uh, hopper and a chest to uh, catch all of my debris uh, from the, uh, the creepers. I built it 20 high and uh, I'm working off a tutorial, so this is going to be in spits and sparks and bits and pieces. Alright, alrighty. So I just wanted to bring you back in and let you know what was going on. And, uh, I bring you in when I, uh, sort the next layer. Thank you. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I have pretty much finished the first layer. Uh, I, uh, set the ground layer, uh, 17 by 17 wide. And then I uh, had a triangular raised platform to build in all four corners. And then I gave the uh, outside a bit of a rim job so that it uh, has a lip on it and the walls are starting to come together. I just wanted to give you all a quick update. I will see you all when I get the next milestone. Thank you. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I just wanted to give you an update. I have raised the wall by two and made the lip three wide, as instructed in the uh, tutorial. I'm using an uh, Avermance tutorial on a modified design of a creeper farm, but I'll link Avermance's video in so you can have a look. Uh, I also uh, had to create another uh, six, another platform, uh, two in uh, from each end, basically six long, and then fill in the diagonals. And it's coming along. I will see you again in a few minutes when I have an update. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I am just putting down the water. I have built out the uh, spawning platform and placed a chest in the middle. That's where the cat is going to go. That's going to scare the uh, creepers off the platform. So I have the water flowing now. So if there's any mobs at all that spawns on this, they'll just drop it in there. And I'm going to get working on the next part. And I will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I wanted to give you a progress update. I have finished the first layer, and I wanted to show you what the first layer looks like. I've also caught a cat in the jungle. 
Well, caught an ocelot and tamed it, tamed it into a cat in the jungle. And I have set it on top of the chest. I have laid out all the trap doors. I've laid out the trap doors that go underneath here. I'm going to be putting carpet along here to prevent any creepers from spawning in this section. The creepers will be spawning in this section and then just being a bit dumb and thinking that's a full block and walking on over and into our welcome to my parlor said the spider to the fly. But uh, I wanted to give you a quick progress update, let you know what was going on and uh, place a few torches. And then uh, I'll bring you back in when I uh, have another progress update, when I get more layers on. So I will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I have completed the outside exterior portion of the creeper farm and most of the layers. I've gotten uh, quite a few layers done. But I'm not quite done yet. I have so much work to do. Decided to put some water on the top of the uh, farm just to keep things from spawning up here and use some torches. But uh, yeah, I've uh, gotten quite a bit started so far. And it's doing really well. And you can kind of see that uh, I've got a customer. So let's go... Uh, Let's go test it out. I've tested it out a little bit as creepers have fallen through. But let's test it out. Oh, looks like there's more than one. Yes, there is more than one. Alrighty. Works beautifully. Uh, this was a design by Avermance. Uh, which is also a modified design from another uh, Minecraft YouTuber. But uh, I'll link Avermance's video so you can uh, see how uh, where I got the inspiration from. And you can follow that back to the original creator of the Creeper Farm. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked what you see here, uh, you can subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get to see the video one day early. Uh, I release my videos on Friday. You will see them on Thursday. Uh, you get a producer credit, and you get to help me build and design things in my world. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and send a friend request. Thank you very much.